Good morning, welcome to ABC 123 Trainer. Today is February 17th, 2022. It's 1145 in the morning, Eastern Saturn time. And let's start taking a look at NASDAQ futures. All forms of trading carry a high level of risk, so you should only speculate with money you can afford to lose. You can lose more than your initial deposit and stake. Please ensure your chosen method matches your investment objectives. Familiarize yourself with the risks involved and if necessary, seek independent advice. U.S. Government Required Disclaimer, Commodity Futures Trading Commission, trading financial instruments of any kind, including options, futures and securities have large potential rewards, but also large potential risk. You must be aware of the risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the options, futures, and stock markets. Do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose. Alrighty. Okay, let's get going here. And before I do that, sorry about this, it's just taking me one second here. Just gonna make sure I have the charts up properly. And let's get going here. Alrighty, good morning everybody. It's been a long time since I've done a video. I've been doing a lot of charity down in Mexico here. And I've just been trading privately here, reading some emails, answering some questions. Because a lot of my time has been, um, I've been taken up with these charity events and it's still, next few weeks I'm still going to be extremely busy. But it was time for me to uh, hopefully do at least a kind of an update video of of day trading, I guess. And I have actually been offline, I guess, since December. I didn't realize it's been that long. Anyways, what I've been trying to do is, um, for the past few years, I've been trying to educate you guys about trading. Sure, and you know I usually use the NASDAQ because I like the NASDAQ because of volatility. But what I've come to a conclusion myself is the risk reward for the the new trader is too high on the NASDAQ. So it took, it was tough for me, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I, I tried to teach myself psychologically to trade. Um, <laughs> it's uh, the micros. But what I, what I found out in micros for a begin, begin or, a intro, or a new trader, the risk and reward is that much easier, amazing that much easier. And uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to just show you, I did a, video, uh, a trade today and I, I recorded, I said maybe something because I was trying to figure out how to do a video on micros because micros can take a while before that one trade is done and psychologically for me it took, I'm used to trading that if you notice my videos a few minutes in and out, just, just hammer it in, hammer it out and we're done. So what I did is I recorded the trade but I'm gonna go through the education of what I looked for and then I'll, I'll connect that, uh, the recorded video. So let's, let's go, as you know, what I usually always do is a top-down approach. I'm not even gonna be looking at the news now. And what my theory is, um, and this is for the beginner trader, okay? I'm trading at 11 a.m., not at, at the 9.30 open for this. I don't want you guys to have the, the high risk. I want it to slow down, maybe grab the fade and see exactly what's happening. So that's the first thing. But let's take a look where I left off. In the beginning it was December and I wrapped everything off and let's look at her faces. The sell phase worked really well here. See how she dropped? And then we had an inversion, it dropped. And then it corrected itself. And now we're in the buy phase. And the buy phase is just holding on. It might still pull down for a day or two and whip up here. We don't know. There's a lot of crazy politics happening going around the world right now. Yeah, she's going the way it was supposed to. And we'll see what happens from there. If you're a swing trader, you know this is your line in the sand, so you're really close for your to go up. So you're right at that squeeze point. Now, from the daily chart, this is the four hour chart. And as you know, if you look at it, it's been crazy because, like I said, I shut down in December. I don't have enough days in here. Let me add the days here so we can show you a little bit more. Let's go 90 days. No, I'll go to 180. And as you can see, you could tell when we were wrapping up December, it was just 
chopping up, topping off, and she just crashed. And it's still crashing quite a bit. It's, it's getting tighter and tighter. Maybe we might have another pull down to this very bottom area. So maybe somewhere down here, maybe back at 13,000s, maybe even farther, we don't know. I have to look to the left to trade the right. So where are we? Where the dotted line is. Uh, 13, eight to, why did that disappear? Well, whatever. So, so anyways, as you know, it still could be going down. As you can see, she's tightened on the four hour chart. Nothing, you know, you got first impulse, second impulse move, maybe third impulse move once again, until she breaks through to start transitioning through. And as you can see where I call it the, uh, the foundation line, She's, you know, we're right in a great, crazy, crazy bear section. And once we get to the, follow this yellow line, then we have to see if she's going to transition back to a bull market again. Okay, so now on the 15 minute chart, we've been crashing first thing in the morning again. I mean, if you want to take the run, go right ahead. But I'm trying to teach you guys um, what we should, you know, hopefully we can be on the right side of the trade. Right down here, the 1040 signal, I, I started at 11 o'clock and I, of course I see the pin needle here saying, okay, we can fade back and hopefully get back to the, or, you know, to that, you know, the zone where I want it to go. And sure enough, I made my points and I was done for today. And hopefully go back to this zone. As you can see, we have some, you know, previous order blocks, VWAP, et cetera, et cetera. Now, lastly, let's take a look at where the trade was. And you know what? Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll go to... Uh, what is it? It's been a while. Data series. Let's, let's show you where my trade was. Very small move. That's all you need. Uh, well, this is MQ. Let's go to MQ because I said we're doing micros right now. There we go. And as you can see, where I bought and basically where I sold. That actually even hit level one target. So 52 to 90, 92, 40 point move for, well, we'll get to, to the chart there. So you don't need that much to be consistent, okay? And I'll, and I'll show you why I chose this zone here. I took a conservative uh, target. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transition to the other, other uh, chart here. And it looks really noisy, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove uh, all the markers. Got rid of some of them. Perfect. So in this chart, this one, I'm going to create this template for, for the Discord for you guys. And, and what this is, is I have multi, I have quite a, I have quite a few time frames on here. But I'm only showing two time frames. I'm showing the current time of the one minute chart and also a 30 minute bar that I wanted to know. And what I do, and also I have, you know, my quarters. Uh, this is the Ninja Trader order flow. I have uh, ATR fib. You might not need as many, but I want to see where the retracements are and order blocks. And so what I've done, and let's start it again. Let me go to the data series here. And as you see, it's only 241, and, and, and that's fine by me, but as you can see, I have five time frames. And I'm gonna show you the, the area where I purchased in. I bought in here, and the only reason why I bought in here is, I said I won't start until 11, and I said, okay, the setup is, I, I don't mind it, and let's go for it. I knew I had resistance on this line, but if it breaks through, I can go up to this target. And the reason why I chose that target was a few few things. What I've noticed, it could be majors, micros, <coughs> anything else there. But what I've noticed is I'll watch the order flow and, and look how she just crashed. And even with the, uh, the order flow delta, the cumulative delta, she was holding off. And as I can see where she popped down, what I do actually, Originally, what I do, let's open this up. 
I took the high and the low and I was watching to see if it would retrace back to the slow spot because I came in at 11 o'clock. I, I, I saw that it was holding, but then she finally broke this level. I, um, let me see, right about here. Yeah, as you can see, she was just breaking through. I said, maybe she'll go above and I'll, I'll only put, as you can see, I only put three contracts in. See, three and three, one and two, got from, looks like, let me see what they did. I don't know why they said that twice. I guess two orders at the same time at the right price point. And so all I'm doing is I'm going to use a total for now, five contracts. So if I'm wrong and if it retraces farther down, I'll, I'll try to grab another zone, you know, you know, that dollar cost averaging. And so I bought in and I chose a target. And the target I chose is twofold. I will look from band A to band B, get to that point, but I also wanted to use this marker here of an order block, because many times an order block will bounce and reverse, and guess what happened? It blew through this one, but it actually grabbed this one and reversed, tried to go a little bit farther. If we look to the left, try the right, it was probably within, maybe there could have been another, you can see that dot there, but whatever. So it knocked out the order blocks for the reversal, and guess what? She comes back down, guess where to? Another order block. So she's bouncing up and down, and that's what I look for. And now for myself now, because I see this blue bar here, a lot of volume, I'm, I'm expecting this, as it's doing it right now, a major sell-off. Now, if it does sell off, I'm not trading anymore today. I will look at this band, or this really deep order block down here. I'm gonna see if this delta lines up with here or breaks right down past it and it'll loop and once it loops I can buy in for a really good price for the retracement one more time the other thing what I what I did and you'll see it on the video I took an extended line on the 30 minute bars try to mark them up and so since I bought in here I was following I'm gonna, I might have to just program vertical line movement. But what I, what I did at the time, let's say I'll use this one. Whoops. Is it F7? Can't remember. Yeah. So what I'll do, I'll put where the cross point is, I'll put a buy limit down here. And if it hits, great. And then I'll put it to the next one down here, down here, and as you can see where this order block is. So if it does keep on crashing down, I'll, I'll, I will probably choose this area where the extension is and where these order blocks are lined up for a body. If it pushes really hard, because I don't know. That's on my next trade. This would be my buy-in, because what I'm using is kind of like the rubber band theory that it extends really hard, grabs a zone, and retraces back to the VWAP. We don't know when it does, but I will use those. Plus, let me switch the chart here. Let's transition. Perfect. And what I'll do, guys, is you can see how she's pushing really hard here. Will it break this zone? This thing will pull down. 12 o'clock, are we at 12 o'clock yet? No, 12 o'clock signal hasn't activated yet, so they might be doing a quick sell-off, maybe back to this lower foot, we don't know, for another buy-in. But what I'll do is, like I said, I will watch now this delta. I want to know if it gets down to here. Because what I have found out, <clears throat> my there's my yesterday's trade. I bought in, okay? And then I had uh, a deeper retracement for the second buy in for five, and I closed and finished my profit. Okay, and so what I did on this one, same thing, the box here, box here, this one took the, I, I didn't actually, I was already done before the big drop down, but as you can see, they do the final drop down, the whip out, and away she goes again. Okay, let's see if I can look at a previous day. There you go again. I bought in, three contracts sold. It, it hit my zone at 11 o'clock again. One more time. I know I missed one day though. 
one here. I bought one contract, one contract. I had my three contracts. It closed twice, but I was seeing if it would run. But day in and day out, I've been doing that. Now, what also what I want to show you while this thing is pulling down, I'm going to actually minimize this chart. I'm put up the web page because I, I wanted to do this test for sure to see if it works. Okay. So right now, actually, it didn't it doesn't have today's balance. And I've been going very, very, very conservatively because I really wanted to know if micros will work for you guys. And I'm just using the same methodology over and over and over again. So far, I've been trading, I don't know how many, so six days of trading. And then with the six days of trading, what I have here, as you can see, constantly going up. Not only that, look at my largest loss. So far, I haven't lost. Cross my fingers if this methodology works correctly. Every single day, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, I'm going as conservative as possible in order for someone possibly to win or pass the exam. So I did one trade late just for a test, but all my trades, as you can see, is basically, this could be at 10.59, I don't know, 11 o'clock, but it's the 11 o'clock trade. And then I had one at 12, one at one, and what? Well, yeah, so a double on that one. But as you can see, basically it's always at 11 o'clock. I did one regular NQ trade as a test, but basically I've been sticking to micros all the way through. 100% win rate so far. Just been going long because that's how the market's been bearing right now on the expansion. Okay, and so and that's all I wanted to show you. And what I'm going to do is I will. Uh, well, actually, maybe it will work now. I just want to let's just check the chart to see if that um, river bound bounce with delta. Let's see. Let's see if she worked. Now, as you can see, this is what I'm getting at here. Open it up, and we had it early in the day. We had it from here, from 10 o'clock to 11, from here before she took off. So I'm right around there. Let me see what I have. I had it on that this what this one bar here. And see how she came back in, touched. Says still can keep on going. We don't know yet. I presume. I I still think it's still going to go down a bit. But because uh, we're kind of in the between these two ranges here, and we had a big sell off here, but if she starts turning around, and you can tell it's quite flat with the, the the buy sell delta, and we can go from there. But what I will look for is if she does crash one once again, I want to get within to that extended rubber band range somewhere down here. So I, I said way down here if it hits these order blocks would be really nice because then you know they'll grab it and we can pull back in. But I will see if this will line up to here with maybe a little extension by the time it gets to here. That would be the best. So anyways, I'm going to log off this. I'll show you the live trade. I might speed it up maybe five or ten times so you can see exactly what's happening because it is, I think it's only nine in this button. Anyways, other than that, just make sure you pinpoint your trades, trade safe, you know where we are. You can email me at abc123trader.com. Take care.